remind me of like a circus when I look at them. I like them, but circus is what comes to mind. Hey everyone, today we're talking about Hermes. These are the new shades of the Hermes uh, sh shiny lipsticks, brilliant lipsticks. And today I'm actually gonna do those three for you on my lips, but I'm also gonna swatch the entire Hermes collection, at least my uh, entire Hermes collection on my lips. I have the Balms, I have the Brilliant, which is the shiny version, I have the Satin, and I have the Matte Formula. I actually have quite a few of these, and it's interesting to me because the Hermes lips are not my favorite formula. The shiny, the brilliant ones, I really do like that formula, but the satin I think is okay, and the matte, I just don't wear matte lips very often, and the balms I don't really like. But I still have all of them. I don't know. The oils I'm not gonna use today, the Hermes lip oils, I do love those and highly recommend them. They all have a scent that goes along with the, the different shades, and I absolutely love. The, the Hermes lip oils, I think they're stunning. So let's actually start with the lip balms. These came out, I think it was last year, and there are three shades, Rose Tan, Rose Apricot, and Rose Dayette. Am I even close? Uh, <laughs> the shades, the, the refillable lipstick cases look like this for all three. And there's a slight difference if the camera doesn't pick it up um, in the pinks at the bottom. This one is, let me make sure I have it right, apricot, yeah. Apricot, diet, and the rose tan. So you have, this is like more peachy, this becomes more like of a rose shade. But the thing about these balms, they, they look like this. So they look kind of like a traditional lipstick. There, there really is not a lot of pigment, if any pigment, for these. And they feel like they're just, you know, a little bit, they're balm, they're chapstick, uh, with a little bit of a shade. The My favorite is Rose Tan, because I feel like it has more <laughs> in it. This is Diet, this is the Apricot. But you can see, it's they're really very, very lightly pigmented. Some of my lips um, from apricot to tan so you guys can see them but I just feel like it's a lot of money to pay for a lip balm for a chapstick so let's use these first and uh, then we will move to the brilliant including the three new ones so here's the apricot shade I don't even know I don't even know if you can tell there's anything on my lips I don't have any I don't have anything on my lips before this but you can just see like this looks a little bit pinker there really, there really isn't much of a shade there. All right, so now we'll go Rose Diet. And last, Rose Tan. As I said when I reviewed these, I just don't think they're worth the price if you're paying $80 for a lip balm. I feel like it should have something more to it. So. Again, are they bad? No, they're they're fine. They, they, they work like a lip balm, but I can't really tell a huge difference between the three shades. Rose Tan is my favorite because it's a little bit more pigmented. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's just a lip balm. I think, honestly, you know, go out and buy Burt's Bees or something. It's definitely for $78. Unless, of course, you just love the packaging. It is really cool packaging and it is refillable. So you can, when you're done with these, you can you can put anything you want in the lipstick case. So, you know, if that's the purpose, then totally get it. Okay, let's move to the Brilliant lipsticks. These are the three new ones. You can see the patterns are different. You have the stripes, which is, I think is what reminds me of like a circus tent. I think that's why. I actually do like them, but they are, you know, the stripes are there. These are the other brilliant ones that I have, and I'll, I'll go through all the different shades. So these are characterized by a, a shiny, sheer type of look. Also, the bullet is different. It has much more of an edge, a very sharp edge, instead of sort of a you know more rounded shape like a regular lipstick bullet. Let me show you all the different ones that I have. Okay, so this one is orange cappuccino. It's got like the light bluish gray and green. We have the 
Poppy, which I think was the first one that came out because it has this gold, brushed gold, and then the orange. We have Beige Doe, which has the orange and purple. We have Rose Nymphaea, Nymphaea uh, which has like a bluish purple and an orange, and that's like the pinkest one that I own. And then the new ones, we have Corel Parasol, which is the yellow and green and white stripes. We have Beige Yachting, which is the orange stripes and the like sort of bright coral red at the bottom. And we have Beige, I'm gonna make sure I get the name right, Croset, which has almost like a terracotta shade and then the black and white stripe. Let's go from the lightest, and then we'll do the, the new ones last. Let's do the beige dough. This one definitely has like a beige shade. I will put these all on my hand. And then, of course, my lips. Now, the reason I say I like these and I don't like the balms, these have an emollience, a shininess to them that I really like on my lips. These do not last long. They're not a long-lasting lipstick or lip gloss or lip whatever you want to call it, lip product. They do wear off relatively quickly. This is the lightest shade I have. And as you can see on my hand, it's right here, it's a very light, almost orangey beige. All right, then let's do the cappuccino and then the poppy. There's the Capucine or Capuchine. This has like almost a coral shade. It's orange Capucine, but I get like a coral shade. I will say things go, as I've said before on my channel, uh, things go cool on me, so that could be why, but it has more of that pinkish orange than like a pure orange on my lips anyway. Let's do the Poppy next. Poppy is more orange. None of these have like glitter in them. They're just shimmery. So you don't have to worry about particles or anything like that. They're just very shimmery, very emollient. Again, though, I'd say there's not, you know, there's not a lot of pigment in these. They are a shiny lip. So we have beige dough, we have the capucine, and then we have the poppy. I think the poppy it looks more like the beige dough. It's just a little bit more orange. All right, let's do the Rose Nymphaea. This is definitely the pinkest. In taking off the poppy, I did notice there's a little bit more like shimmer, gl not glitter, but like shimmer particles in the poppy that I don't see in the other ones, just to mention. All right, let's do the, the Rose. If you want to pick up one of the Hermes shiny lip, shiny lipsticks, the Brilliance, um, and you like pink, this is the one to go with. All right, let's try the new ones. Let's start with the Coral Parasol. This is the Coral here. Now you can see, this is the beige dough, this is the Capucine, the orange Capucine, this is the poppy and this is the new coral. You can see how like this one, it's more coral. It has more pink, but it's not as pink as the coral, as the orange cappuccino. It's got more like peach. Do you see what I mean? There we go. It's a shiny. I really like this one. It works really well with a liner, like a brown liner. If you haven't watched my channel before, I love brown liners, but it does. It looks really good with a brown liner. And a funny story about this particular shade, I actually bought this a month ago, December, and it's lost in the Royal Mail somewhere. <laughs> so I might have two of them. So even though I really love the shade, and actually thought about buying another one because it's a great shade to like carry around in your purse kind of thing. I didn't because I think I might have a second one still coming to me, possibly. Either that or, or it's in the ocean or we're not quite sure. All right, so now let's go to um, Beige Croset. I like about the beige croset is that it is like a rosy brown. It it's not really beige. Um, one thing you'll find out about 
the Hermes, when they say beige, they don't mean beige. And when they say like burn, they don't mean brown. Their shades have all been, up to now at least, less brown, less browny pink than I would have liked. These are my favorite shades that they've ever actually come out with. The shade that I never bought that I really wanted to buy was the Beige D'Autumn. I think that's how it was. Beige D'Autumn? I think so. And I don't know what was happening that week. Something was going on that week and I really meant to buy that shade. It was limited edition and I didn't buy it and now it's gone. So if anyone knows where to buy Beige D'Autumn, let me know because I definitely want one. But this um, is the, the Beige Crosset. And I really, really like the shade. I think it's an excellent everyday kind of shade. Again, these aren't super pigmented, but I really like it. I think it's a really pretty kind of rosy shade actually. And then of course here again is the new one in the coral. So last but not least, let's do the Yatek. These are not difficult to get off by the way. Like I said, these are very glossy, almost like a lip gloss, almost like the lip oils, but not as, not as emollient as the lip oils. They're like thinner than the lip oils. They're more uh, liquid almost when they go on the lips. I know it sounds weird because they're in a bullet, but the lip oils are more oily. They're more emollient than the brilliant shiny lipsticks. Now, if you're like me and you were waiting for Hermes to come out with a warm brown, this is as close as I think you're gonna get. This is the Beige Yachting. It looks similar to the Beige, uh, beige Crosette, but the Beige Crosette is more like rose. This one is more almost like a burnt orange. So here are the new ones. Here's Beige Yachting, here's the Coral Parasol, and here's the Beige Crosette. Here is the beige dough, here is the orange cappuccino, here is the poppy, which I think was the original, and here is rose nymphaea. So those are all the shinies. I'd say corset is my favorite just like for every day because it's like the closest to a rosy brown, to a pink brown that exists. Then the yachting, because I like a warm brown shade. But the Coral is great for just like an everyday, you know, you can leave it in your purse, just wear it. It's going to make your lips look shiny and it's just a really good shade, you know, because it doesn't really stand out very much. You can kind of wear it with anything. All right, let's move to the satin lipsticks. So I had the three lip balms. I have the seven brilliant shiny lips and I have eight of the satins. I have most of them, uh, five of them in the original packaging that came out, which is the black and brushed gold. And then I have three, what I think are, I think the different shades are more limited edition packaging, these three here. So we'll get to, we'll start with those and then we'll do the, the traditional packaging. I have not kept up, like I don't remember which ones are limited edition and which ones aren't. Um, but I think the, the brushed gold, the brass shade and the black, that's the permanent collection. And then the different shades are the ones that are limited edition, but I'm not absolutely sure of that. So, um, let me see if I can check out the Hermes site and see what it says. It does say on the site that the shiny lipsticks, the new ones, the striped ones are all limited edition, that the poppy is part of the permanent as far as I can tell, and that the black and brushed gold brass shade look to be the permanent ones. The lip enhancers, those lip balms, those are permanent. The metallic lipsticks, which I do not have, those are limited. Yeah, I think the ones in the different shades are the limited, like the different packaging are limited edition. And the one in the black and the brushed gold are the ones that are part of the, per part of the permanent edition. So anytime you have like these different kinds of colors, those are gonna be limited edition. At least that's what I'm taking from this. So I could be wrong. You guys tell me. You always tell me when I'm wrong, so that's not a problem. All right, let's start with the limited edition ones. Let's see what shade this one is. Okay, we have Rose Pomette, which has like this black and I think that's like lime green. It's a very bright pink. We have Beige et Bleu, orange and brown packaging. And every time it says beige, like I, for me, it, it really looks kind of rose. Like that was the thing. I never found one that actually looked brown, except for this new beige yachting that looks brown. And then we have rose ombre in the blue and brown packaging. 
Of these three, the Rose Ombre is my favorite shade, actually. Although I do like, I do like the beige, Evolu, or however it's pronounced. All right, so let's start with the pink, with the rose. Very bright pink. I don't think I've actually ever worn this shade. Like, I don't, I don't, I've worn it for you guys, but I think that's it. I think that's the only time I've ever worn it. And again, it's, it's just a very bright rose palmette. The satin formula by Hermes is not bad. It's, it's silky, it's comfortable, it's like, it's a nice, comfortable lip satin. But again, these, you know, these are relatively expensive lipsticks. They're $70. Uh, and I think the limited edition ones are often 78 or they have been 78. So for example, there's some mattes on here that are, um, I'm on the Hermes site that say 72, but the new shiny ones that just came out were 78. So it's a lot of money to pay for a lipstick. And honestly, I feel like it's, you're more paying for the Hermes name and the really cool packaging. Not that that's a bad thing. Like if you're buying it for the packaging, I get that. That's mostly why I bought these too. I really like the packaging. I think it's very cool, but I haven't found shades until the new shades, the new shiny ones, the new three ones actually are my favorite shades so far. And again, they're not that pigmented. All right, let's do the rose ombre. I do like the, the rose ombre. It's basically my lips, but deeper. It's like I said, it's, it's a nice shade with a brown liner. It looks really nice, but again, it's not my favorite formula, um, but for those of you who really like the formula and you're looking for something that's like sort of a dusty pink, it's similar to the Rose Ombre um, blush that Hermes has, similar shade. Okay, and last of the satin limited edition, this is Beige Abouli, or I'll make sure the names are all down below for each one. I really like the shade, but again, it's a little too light. Um, for me to wear by itself. I need it with a liner, but I really like the shade. And I think that it's a good neutral beige. But again, if you don't, if, if you're somebody like me that you're, you're really pale, it, it might wash you out a little bit. So just, it's one of those things that you might need a, you know, a liner for. Let's move to the satin lipsticks that are all part of the permanent collection. Let's see, we have Rose a piece, lots of rose shades if I remember correctly. We have Beige Kalahari, we have Rouge H, I think the deepest shade I have, yep, from Hermes. We have Rose and Sens, and we have Beige Tad Alack. So that's not right, but. All right, let's actually do the beige Taladac. Well, yeah, let's do the Taladac and then we'll do the uh, Kalahari. So this shade, for whatever reason, the beige Tadalac, Tadalac, yeah, um, tends to go almost like peach on me. Um, on my hand, it looks a little bit more like a bait, like a warm corally shade. And then on my lips, it almost has like an orange. That's why I think the lip swatches are so important. It looks one way on your hand, but then on your face, it can just look, you know, drastically different. Okay, so let's do the other beige, which is the beige Kalahari. That's the beige Kalahari. Again, a nice, lighter, like almost rosy brown. But on me, it's, it kind of blends into my skin tone, so I need a liner with it. All right, let's do the Rose Incense or Ensen. This is a nice neutral pink. Like it, it is actually a, a pretty shade. I I would wear this shade. Like this is a, is a nice neutral pink. I just. I tend not to wear pinks that often. And I, like I said before, I don't really reach for my Hermes lipsticks. I can't tell you exactly why. Um, I have to, as I'm putting these all together for my like favorite satin lipstick formula, I'm, as I'm going through all my collections, I'm trying to decide which ones are my favorite. I'm sort of stacking up like the points about which ones are my favorite. I can't tell you exactly 
why these are ones I don't reach for, but I just have to say like, they're just not my favorite. They're not terrible by any means, but others are more emollient. Others, I like the shades more. Uh, when it comes to bleeding, I don't think these bleed very much. I will say that because they're not super creamy or super like glossy, the satin part, the satin formula, it does tend to stay put. It doesn't really bleed. All right, rose a piece. This one has like a sheen to it that I can't quite place, but there's something about this one that I actually, I like the shade. It has like a warmth to it. It doesn't necessarily come through on camera, but it actually is a little bit more rosy, um, but a warm rosy. Like I can't really explain it. It's is a tough one to explain because it's not like my favorite shade by any means, but it has, it's, it's a little bit more unique because I feel like it has like a rosewood shade to it, but it's a little bit warmer than that. These feel like a little bit more sheer almost like the, the brilliant lipsticks are definitely a sheer formula, but the satins feel a little bit sheer as well. Like they don't feel like they're really, they're not creamy. They're silky. And I think I like creamy formulas more than silky formulas for satin. I don't know, maybe that's what it is. But anyway, Rouge H will be the last. It's a it's a pretty deep shade. There's Rouge H, and this is almost a magenta shade. Again, um, it looks I like it better on my hand than I like it on my lips. It's not a bad shade. It's just a little bit too purple for me. Okay, take those off and then we'll move to the last three shades, which are all mattes. Okay, last three shades and these are matte shades. I have two in the permanent collection with the brush gold or brass and black. These are beige natural and rouge exotique. And then limited edition packaging, which is like pink and almost a teal shade. I have rose nuit. I'll show you those on the back of my hand. I will say that the matte formula is actually pretty comfortable for a matte formula. I just am not a huge matte person. Here's Beige Natural, here's Ex Exotic, and then the last one is Rose Nuit. Let's do the um, Exotic first because that shade is a shade I'll tell you just right now. <laughs> it's not a favorite shade. This reminds me of a shade that Lisa Eldridge has. I can't think of the name of it, but it's a bright, bright orangey coral shade. And I guess if you were like on vacation, if I was on vacation or something, maybe I would do a color this shade, like a lipstick this shade. Uh, I think it's meant for a deeper skin tone. On me, I think it just stands out like neon. Like I just, it's just not me. It's actually a really pretty shade and it actually brightens up my face in some ways, but it's just too much. Next, we'll do a beige natural. Now, this lipstick is literally the shade of my lips. Like it's almost identical. When I put this on, I really can't tell that there's anything on. Like it looks like what my lips look like by themselves. So if you're looking for a really neutral lip, super neutral lip, nude lip, and you're my coloring, beige natural is the right way to go. And like I said, it's actually very comfortable for a matte. It does not feel matte like it feels, it feels very moisturizing. It's just, I, for the, the reasons I've outlined before, matte lipsticks, I need something more emollient. I need something more plumping, kind of glossy because my lips are just dry by nature. And even if the formula doesn't necessarily dry down my lip, the matte look, you know, the, the powdered look on your lips, it accentuates lines. It makes my lips look more dry than they are. So I prefer a look that's more glossy, plumpy, that type of thing. But the shade itself is actually a nice nude shade if that's what you're going for. Last but not least, we have Rose Nuit. And the Rose Nuit is the limited edition one, so that's why I kept this one for last. 
So my understanding is this would not be available, whereas the permanent ones would, you know, if they're not in stock, would come back in stock. It's a pretty rose shade. I'd say it leans actually a little neutral. On me, it, it's a little bit cooler, but I think it's actually a nice rose shade if, if that's the kind of shade that you like. I tend not to be a pink person, so, you know, pink lips aren't really my thing. Uh, but of the three matte shades that I have, I probably like this one the most because the, the beige just sort of blends into my lips. And so, you know, I can't really wear it by its, I mean, I can, but it, it makes me look kind of tired. Um, and then the exotique is just too bright for me. So of the beige shades I have, of the matte shades I have, I think this Rose Nui is my favorite, but none of them are really like my favorite shades. So that's it guys, all my Hermes lipsticks, lip swatched. I have to say these three new ones, I actually really like. The beige yachting is, as you saw on the swatch, is a warmer brown, shiny, sheer lipstick. The coral is definitely a coral shade. It's light, it's not that pigmented. I think it's gonna work it for most people as just like a shiny lip. Um, and then the beige croissant is a nice, it's the closest I've seen to a pinky brown that Hermes has. And um, I, you know, if I was ever gonna buy another, if I was ever gonna buy two of any shade of Hermes, these three would be the ones that I would think about buying a second shade too, like a second tube too. The, the rest of them, like a refill. The rest of them, honestly, there's no shade that I swatched today that I was like, yes, I absolutely love that shade. And I would wear it so much that I would need, you know, I would go through an entire bullet. But the three new ones, I could see me actually using those up. I really like them. I like the shiny formula. I know they're not that pigmented. I know that they don't last that long, but that's my preference for a lip product, so I like them. The only thing I will say is they are $78. It's a lot of money for a shiny sheer lipstick, and I'm sure you can find other shiny sheer lipsticks for a lot less money. But the packaging is very cool and it is refillable. I actually ended up getting these on sale. There was a sale code that I had at Saks or something like that. So I actually did get them on sale, but they were still, you know, a lot of money for, for what they are. So hopefully all of that was helpful. If you have any questions or anything that uh, you want to put in the comments below, just let me know. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.